So what do you need to get covered up? A really, really ugly tattoo on my leg. Really ugly. Then, well, how did you end up getting such an ugly tattoo in the first place? <laughs> As a tattooer, you know, when we have apprentices around and we want them to learn, sometimes we let them learn on us. I'm not saying I would never let an apprentice tattoo me, but it would definitely have to be somebody important. They have to practice somewhere, right? Exactly, right? <laughs> and even worse, it was an ex-boyfriend of mine. Uh, okay, well, let's take a look at it. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if you've seen something this bad before, so it's on my leg. I know, it's so ugly. Ugh. It does look like an alien. Does it? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's got a big old head. It's supposed to be a tattoo of a zombie and a razor blade and some flowers. I like open to interpretation. <laughs> That's the nice way to say it. <laughs> it looks like some kind of alien. It's cut in half. I'm pretty sure those are intestines. I should not have let it gone for seven years. I do modeling, but I've actually put makeup over it to cover it. If I actually have to go as far as to hide this tattoo when I'm a tattooed model, I mean, that means it's got to go. So what are you thinking about covering it up with? Kind of like stuff that's cute creepy or cool creepy, like black cats or ravens. Kind of like a cute macabre. Yes, exactly. I kind of like the idea of, of a raven. I would love a raven. I've always wanted one. Really added like some, some daggers or like stiletto yeah, daggers. Yeah, as long as like it's that. the little kind. Yes. I feel the design was much more collaborative than with most of my clients because Megan didn't tell me exactly what she wanted. She just gave a lot of ideas and then we ran with it. Ooh, that tickles.